Hey everyone, how's everyone doing? I'm just getting a couple minutes late start here, sorry about that. But I just wanted to um, come on here tonight and do a little class on mood, emotions, and essential oils. Um, I get a lot of questions all the time about the oils and how to use them for um, emotional support, mood support, and so I thought I'd do a little class. Um, so if you're coming on and you're joining the class, please say hello. I'd love to know who's joining me. Um, and I'm going to get started here. Hey Becky, how are you? I'm glad you could come on. So I'd like to start out, um, give a little introduction for those of you that don't know me. My name is Diane Murphy and I've been um, with doTERRA for a number of years now, for about close to four years I've been using the product. Um, I was introduced to them um, by a good friend of mine and I had been using other oils here and there um, for different things and when she told me about doTERRA I was kind of like, oh okay, you know, I'll check it out. And once I tried it, I was floored at how well they worked, how potent they were, and just the response that we were getting for everything that I was using them for, um, we were just getting the responses that I wanted to see. So it was really nice to have something that I could safely use for the entire family um, at that point. So I really have never looked back. And I started sharing, just um, telling friends about it, just because how can you keep it to yourself, right? <laughs> when you have something that works so good for things. So that's just how I got into teaching the classes and sharing about the oils. And um, I just love it. I love what I do and I love sharing the information on the oils. So that's just a little bit about me. And you know, the way that we started using them when she um, introduced me and I started out with just a couple of the basic oils, we were using them for a couple of pain related issues. My daughter is a gymnast and she was having some back issues and shin splints and different things going on. And um, I used her kind of as my guinea pig. I would apply some oils to her and she was getting relief. She was having um, less pain, less um, inflammation. She wasn't feeling as tight when she was at practice. Um, she got rid of the shin splints. It was just overall, it was a good experience. So like I said, we just have never looked back. So that's just a little bit about me. So the oils, um, the oils are from plants. We know this, they're all from plants. They're aromatic compounds, they're natural. They come from the bark, the seed, the stem, the leaves, the citrus rind. Um, and depending on what part of the plant, they're either steam distilled or cold pressed, like in the citrus. So we used doTERRA specifically, like I said, because I had been using other brands that just were obviously not as potent as the doTERRA. Um, once I experienced it, I could tell the difference. And when I researched into the company and how they um, source the oils, I was really impressed because they just source them from where they grow naturally. And that's important because you want the plants to grow where they grow naturally because they're going to have the compounds in the levels that we need them to get the response that we want. So we want that soil to be right, the rain, the sun, the climate, the air, all of that has to be in alignment and correct um, for us to get the compounds um, the way that we need them to get the effect that we want. So we use them three ways. We use them um, topically on our skin, and this is good for, um, it's good for mood, it's good for pain, it's good for a lot of different ways to use. So we like to dilute them. We'll dilute them with a carrier oil of some sort, like fractionated coconut oil, almond oil, grapeseed, jojoba, any of those vegetable-based oils will work perfectly fine. Um, fractionated coconut oil is nice because it's light, it doesn't stain our clothes, and it absorbs really nicely into the skin. And when we dilute them, what's going to happen is it's going to absorb um, more efficiently into our skin, and it's going to last longer. So it's a good reason to dilute them. So we also use them aromatically. So using them, what we're going to talk about tonight for emotion and mood, um, diffusing them is the best way. Um, it gets everything right up in there to your brain. So when we diffuse, we can use um, a machine called a diffuser. They're very simple to use. You fill them with water, put the drops of oil in, 
turn them on and what they do is they vibrate the water so that it creates a mist. I mean, it's a cool mist coming out of the machine. So you're going to affect everybody in the room as well as yourself. So when you diffuse, it's really excellent um, to help everybody around you. Um, another way to use them aromatically is straight out of the bottle. I mean, you can just take a bottle, open it up and smell it. And that's an easy, easy way to get the benefit of the oil. You can use diffuser jewelry where you have a necklace, um, where you put the oils on a felt pad so that you always have it handy. You can sniff that. There are bracelets as well that you can put the oils on and sniff. So it's a nice way to use your oils. And then internal. Internal is the third way that we use. And this is specific to doTERRA. I don't recommend anybody to ever use any other brand of oils internally, but doTERRA oils are all labeled. The ones that are able to be used internally, they're, they're labeled very clearly on um, what uses you can use them for. So when we use internally um, for mood and emotion, lavender is going to be the one that is most um, often used internal. And so what we can do, we can either get empty veggie capsules we get those at Amazon or a health food store. You put your drops of oil inside of those capsules, close them up and swallow them. That's a good way to get internal use. Some people like to put oils in their water or put them in a shot glass of water, swish and swallow. So those are the three ways that we use our oils. Very simple, um, very basic. You really can't make a mistake because when you use them um, topically, you're getting the aromatic benefits as well. Um, An internal, like I said, that is um, one way to use them specific only to doTERRA. So that's the three ways that we use them. So I'm going to talk about um, emotions and mood. So emotion and mood are two things that are very um, receptive to essential oils for us to use them to help. So moods are things like depression, um, long lasting things. You don't really quite know when they start and when they end. You sort of just have depression, but you don't really know exactly what started it or why it started, but it's an ongoing long process. Emotions on the other hand are those quick um, things that happen. You know what made you worried, What you know what makes you feel fearful or hurt or upset or sad or anxious. Um, you know exactly when somebody makes you angry. Um, so those emotions come out and you know when they happen. And they're short lived. They're not long like, um, like moods. So they're kind of short and they pass. But we can use the oils um, to help with those because when we inhale these oils, they're going straight up through our olfactory system. They're hitting all those neurons and they're getting into that limbic um, part of the brain, the limbic system. And that is just our core section of our brain that is related to memories, emotions, um, everything is stored there, um, fear, anxiety, um, all of those things, stress. Um, it's connected to our autonomic nervous system, which controls our blood pressure, our heart rate, our breathing, all of that. So when we're exposed to something stressful and we have that fight or flight response, that's all connected. Um, and those um, feelings of the fight or flight, when we get into that stressful response, um, they're finding that people that have ongoing states of anxiety and depression have a heightened um, acuity. They have this heightened response that their body really never comes out of that fight or flight. So their stress hormones are flying and they're always under, their body is always feeling under stress. And that is where the oils can come in to help us because when we inhale these um, compounds, they're helping us to relax that um, fight or flight, to relax that side of the nervous system, which is the sympathetic side, and they're helping to relax that side and bring it back over to the restful side, the parasympathetic. So that's the, I call it rest and digest side, and then the, the fear and flight side. So the oils will help to bring you back over to that side and keep everything in balance because you don't want to be all on the restful side because then you'll lack motivation and energy and you don't want to be all on the fight or flight side because then you're going to be in that constant state of um, stress and anxiety and on the go and you've got those stress hormones flying through your body and you don't want that because that's not good for us. So we want to have everything in balance. 
So um, there's an emotional aromatherapy line that is really awesome from doTERRA, and I just absolutely love it. There's six oils in it, and they're, they are like my very, very favorite um, oils, I think, out of all of doTERRA. And they're all blends. And when you look at the different um, compounds in oils, different oils are good for certain emotions to help you deal with certain emotions. So like the herb and grass um, oils, if you're feeling bitter or angry or discontented, that's gonna be your go-to section. The spice, if you're feeling disinterested or bored, somber, spice is going to be what you want. Citrus, if you're feeling gloomy, distressed, um, discouraged, sad, down, citrus is going to lift you up. And then the tree oils, if you're feeling grieving, if you're grieving or you're sad and you're feeling down, um, the floral, if you're hurt, fearful, worried, floral is going to be your go-to. And if you're feeling anxious, insecure, apathetic, mint is going to be the section. And what's really good about this emotional aromatherapy line is that all of the oils are placed on a wheel and they're placed in the spot where they are most helpful, like floral or tree. And you can see exactly um, what emotion they will address. So I love this kit for that reason. So the first one that I'm going to talk about is called Console. I've got my notes here so I can remember what is in each of the oils. They come in these little five milliliter bottles. They also, and I'll show you some of them in the touch form, but the six oils, you can buy them as a kit or you can buy them separately. So the console is good. It's a good grounding oil if you need some emotional strength, um, if you're feeling sad or grieving or hurt, worried, fearful. This is a blend of florals and trees. So this is going to address those emotions. It has um, frankincense, patchouli, ylang lang. Um, sandalwood, rose. It's a nice, nice blend. It is so comforting when you smell this. Um, and diffused, it's just beautiful. It just really is a nice, nice scent. Um, you can smell it. I wish you could smell these through the phone. <laughs> but it's just such a nice um, floral, grounding, renewing, um, just makes you feel kind of like a hug in a bottle. That's what I think it is. It's like a hug in a bottle, this one. I love it. So then the next one, peace. And the funny thing is when you, when you read about um, smells and emotions and memories, smells are connected to things. When you first smell something and whatever you're doing or experiencing at the time that you smell it, your brain connects that to that smell forever. So, and the example that I can give, if your grandma baked cookies or bread or some special food, um, you know that feeling when you smell that smell, it can take you right back to childhood um, or it can take you to something bad. It can, it can have a smell, can have a bad memory for you. If you smelled something during a time of turmoil or hurt or something going on, that smell can take you back to that feeling. Um, smells can just bring back all kind of memories and I'll use peace as an example because I went to convention in um, Utah when this line came out and peace was the very first oil that I smelled at convention when I was surrounded by all of this activity and all of these um, experiences and emotions and being in Utah I had never been out west before and it was just quite an experience. And the funny thing is like, when I smell peace now, it takes me back to Utah. It takes me back to convention. It takes me back to all those feelings of, of the excitement and the, just all the newness of it and everything that was going on. So whenever I smell peace, that's exactly what I think of. I think of Utah and doTERRA convention. So that's my, you know, that's just an example of how um, smells can take you back. And I know we've all experienced it. I mean, you can smell perfume, you know, that your grandma wore or that your mom wore or something like that. Um, 
So, but peace is nice. If you want to feel calm and composed and reassured and balanced, if you're feeling a little unsettled, um, peace is the one. If you're feeling worried or anxious, insecure, apathetic, this is the one for you. Um, it's got vetiver, lavender, ylang lang, frankincense, clary sage, marjoram, and spearmint. So it's a mix of florals and mints. Um, and those oils alone, I mean, vetiver, clary sage, marjoram, they're all so grounding, so soothing, um, and so calming, so calming. This in the diffuser is just amazing, just amazing. I wear it as perfume sometimes. I've made um, roller bottles of it. I have actually a roller bottle of it diluted next to my bed. And then I also will put it on in the morning, like before I go to work sometimes, because I like it as a perfume. But that's peace. That's peace. And if anybody has any questions as I go along, please let me know and I will try to answer them. And if anybody watches this on the replay, just um, post any questions that you might have down below and I will get to them for sure. So the next one is forgive. If you're, if you're grieving or sad, um, feeling angry, bitter, disconnected, just angry, um, negative emotions, if you wanna let go and have peace and renewal and relief, um, forgive is a blend of trees, and herbs grasses this is this is the touch roller of forgive so these come either in the five milliliter straight oil bottle or they come already diluted and ready to go for you in these rollers these are diluted with fractionated coconut oil so they're ready to go see the roller these are really nice metal rollers and you can just roll them right on they're ready to go so nice so forgive is spruce, bergamot, juniper berry, myrrh, arborvitae, thyme, citronella. Um, it's an awesome blend. This one, when I have to say when I got the kit, it was probably um, the last one that I tried. The last one that I um, tried. I mean, I like the smell of it, but I wasn't crazy about it. It wasn't my favorite. But when I put it in the diffuser and it got out there in the air, it was just really nice and it really does promote um, it does promote letting go it does promote um, you having relief from those negative feelings um, it's really a nice one so the next one is motivate motivate is the encouraging blend here it is in the touch roller it's uplifting it helps promote positivity so if you're feeling anxious discouraged um, apathetic, gloomy, distressed, down. If you need some uplifting, pumped up feelings, um, Motivate is going to help you. It's going to help promote positivity. It's going to help uplift you. Um, it's peppermint, clementine, basil, coriander, rosemary, mel melissa, yuzu, and vanilla. And it's such a nice smell. It's a blend of citrus and mint and that little hint of vanilla in there. It almost smells a little bit like Citrus Bliss, if you've smelled that one, but it also has that little hint of the mint in there. You used Motivate all day today? Did it got you through the day? Nice, nice. How did you use it? Did you use it like rolled on as perfume or in diffuser jewelry? How were you using it? I like to roll this one too. I think this one, I love the smell. You can really pick up the vanilla in there and the coriander and the peppermint. Just really nice. Roller balls, yeah. It's awesome because you're getting it through your skin. You're getting it absorbed in your skin when you roll them on. Plus you're getting the aromatic benefit because we're smelling everything that we roll on our skin. So we're getting it kind of double when we use it topically, which is really nice. I love Motivate. So the next one, oh, one of my all-time favorites, Cheer. Love Cheer. Cheer is sunshine in a bottle. Honestly, it is one of the best smells ever. It's a ray of sunshine. If you're feeling sad, distressed, bored, disinterested, discouraged, gloomy, just down, this is going to uplift you, make you feel happy. Um, 
get rid of all those heavy, gloomy feelings. It's got wild orange, clove, star anise, lemon myrtle, nutmeg, ginger, cinnamon, vanilla. So it's citrus and spice together in this blend. And this is a nice one. Um, I tell the story in my classes when I do my classes of my daughter one day. She was just really in a funk. She was just really in one of those crabby pants moods. Um, you know, she was she's a teenager and she was just Krabby Patty. Just nothing was making her <laughs> smile. So I brought, you know, I didn't want to say what I was doing, but I brought the cheer over. I had her take a smell out of the bottle and then I put it in the diffuser in the room that she was sitting in. And about probably 10 minutes later, she said to me, Mom, what did you have me smell? Um, what did you do? What is that? And I said, it's called cheer. Why? And she said, because I really feel a lot better. I'm feeling better, like more like myself. So it was just like night and day. It just changed her. It changed her mood. It changed her outlook. It brought her out of that funk that she was in and put her back in her happy, um, normal self, her happy little mood. So we use cheer a lot. I mean, when anybody is having the Krabby Pants in our house, I just put cheer in the diffuser because I can affect everybody in the room when I diffuse and cheer is great for that. And the smell is just really nice. If you like citrus and you like spice, which I do, the smell of this is really, really nice. And I have this one in a touch roller as well. So let's see, we've got one more. We've got passion. Where's passion? Here's passion. Here's passion. And passion is one of those renewing blends. It's going to revive your enthusiasm. If you're feeling bored, disconnected, bitter, angry, you've got a blend here of herbs, grasses, and spice, which is really going to help you to get out of those feelings. Um, and just give you some motivation, give you some enthusiasm again, um, and get you excited about something. If you're bored with things, if you're bored at your job, or you're just disinterested, this is a good one to diffuse, which will kind of just boost up your enthusiasm. It's got fractionated coconut oil in it. It's got cardamom, cinnamon, ginger, clove, sandalwood, um, jasmine, vanilla, and something called damiana, which I don't, I can't answer what that is. I would have to look it up. Um, but whatever it is, these all together smell so good. It's got a very spicy, herby smell to it. So those are the six oils in the emotional kit. Um, and like I said, they can be purchased together or they can be purchased um, separately. So does anybody have any questions? Becky, do you have any questions about any of this? So that's basically it. That's my class on the Emotional Aromatherapy Kit. I just wanted to go through all of those oils and talk a little bit about how we can support, um, support our emotions and keep our negative emotions down and just promote, um, just promote feeling more positive and more balanced and in control because we don't want to let our emotions rule us. Um, we want to rule our emotions and that's what the oils help because they're really getting into our bodies. They're natural. They're not synthetic like taking an antidepressant or an anti-anxiety medication. These are natural compounds. These are going to be recognized by our body, taken into our cells and utilized fully in a way to bring our bodies back into that balance that we want it to be in. We want to reduce those stress hormones. We don't want those flying around our bodies. Um, we want to keep those down. We want to keep, um, you know, our hormones in balance, in check and in control so that our stress response um, isn't out of whack because a chronic state of having um, that stressful response is going to put us into those um, anxious feelings, anxiety, depression, um, and those states. And when we can use something like the oils um, to affect those um, responses, it's going to help our emotional health all the way around. You can't wait to finish getting the set? Yeah. 
I know it's um I think it's the set that I that I bought when I like when I went to convention and it first came out and I don't think I've let it um empty at all. Once one of those bottles empties, I order another one immediately because they are probably the six um other than like the basic lavender, lemon and peppermint, I think that these six oils are utilized the most in my house. Um probably probably pretty much every day <laughs> pretty much every day just to keep everything you know balanced and happy and in check so a good tip you can in the morning you can apply them to your pulse points that's where I like to apply them hi um, apply them to your pulse points right here on your arms midday you can reapply them put them over your heart in the evening I like to diffuse I like to diffuse in the bedroom at night, um, in the living room if everybody's, you know, gathered and watching a movie or whatever, I'll diffuse a little bit in there. Um, so you just have to kind of find the blend that you like. Um, I like all of them for different reasons, and I like some more than other. Probably Peace and Cheer are my two favorites out of the line. I like to be transported back to Utah <laughs> when I use my Peace. Um, and cheer just smells so darn good. It's just so uplifting. It's just such a nice, um, a nice um, scent that I just love. And when you get the kit, you get the emotional aromatherapy wheel with it. But if you don't have the kit and you're not getting the kit, if you go on the DoTerra, oops, if you go on the DoTerra website, um, you can see the wheel. And I have my laptop right here. I've got it. Whoops, I've got it on the screen. I don't know if you can see it, but that's what the wheel looks like. So if you, um, if you go on the doTERRA site and you go into the advocate section, you can find this wheel, um, in there related to the emotional aromatherapy line. And what it has, it has all the oils and it has them what they are. If they're spice, floral, tree, mint, grass, whatever they are, it shows you where they sit on that wheel. And then it also shows you the emotions on the inside here. These are the emotions. So you can look for what you're feeling. Say, you know, I'm feeling really anxious. I'm feeling out of sorts. I'm fearful. So you want to go with the mint and the floral section. And it's going to show you that peace is the one to choose. But if peace doesn't work for you, you can go to the other side of the mints and try motivate or the other side of the florals and try console. So it just depends on what you're trying to address. But the wheel is really nice for that. The wheel is a simple, easy way to, um, to address that and to figure out which um, oil you want to try. So because we want to keep those negative emotions down, because like I said, they're so detrimental to our health and we want to use the oils to promote those positive emotions, which are much more, um, beneficial to our bodies than the than the negative so so that is it like I said if you have any questions let me see if there was anything else I wanted to say there are other wheels that you can get as well and they will tell you um, you know which oils when you're feeling um, you know disconnected for instance you want to try a herb or a grass oil and you can look on, there are other wheels that you can get that look like this. And those identify um, the emotions and which oils on the wheel are calming or renewing or uplifting um, and where you want to choose on the wheel. So they're nice little tools to help you have a head start um, with um, figuring out what oil to try first. But that is it so like i said if you have any questions um let me know post them here in the video and i will come back and check this frequently and thank you becky for tuning in and checking this out i hope it was helpful i can't wait to hear what you think of more of the oils when you get them um that's it so i hope you have a good night and for those of you that are new to doTERRA um I, pin, I will pin my um, website. So there's lots of information on my website where you can look at the oils and see what they're all about. 
and look further into it if you want. But like I said, message me with any questions. Oh, you're welcome, Becky. I'm glad you liked it. All right, everyone. Take care. Have a good night. Bye-bye.